Welcome back guys, this video I'm just going to be giving you an update on everything I've got and some big news about our next event in one of the cars. So let me start with the big news, we're off to Summonats, so I've actually entered the VZ in Summonats because that's nowhere near. So the VZ's entered, I've got the diff, a diff here which is just an open diff which is going to be getting a spool and depending on how I go for money, maybe some diff gears before then. If not, definitely the spool and yeah. So I always said that I wanted to go to Summer Nuts this year, which was last year because of COVID and it was originally going to be with this, but it's pretty self-explanatory that that's not going to be ready in time. Motor's still pulled apart over there. So I thought, why not enter this? I can't drive it till I get me full license, so I've got to have some fun in it. So, yep, she passed. It's all entered now, so I'm gonna um, paint this diff up, pull it apart, put a spool in it. I'm actually gonna, underneath here, weld a bit of square tubing, and that way, when I'm driving along, I could lower the bags right down and throw sparks out everywhere, which would be pretty cool. So I've got, got these tyres that are on the u deer, which I'll take over. Because it's entered in the Motocana, go to O and grass driving events. So, so I'm going to there to compete in them and also take her up, up Skid Row have some fun with it, that's if it'll spin the tyres, so. So yeah, that's the exciting news I've got. The only thing this is gonna need, it's gonna need an oil change before it goes, and the diff in. Um, other than that, I think it's pretty pretty ready to go. My dad's got his um, car rented as well, so we're just gonna do what we done, going to Bathurst. Um, Load, load this on the truck and my dad's car on the trailer behind. It's very, very dirty. It's hard to see in here, but it's dusty everywhere. So it should be fun cruising around, around a little bit in it. And yeah, I've got them tyres that are on the front of the ute over there. Plus, um, the tyres that were on the Mazda that I bought the other day, thinking I was going to use them. On a set of mags there, on a set of stockies there. So a bit of an update on the Mazda. I've put the bump stop back in here. I think I'm still gonna have to raise it because give push down on that enough and it it touches the tire. Now I've mounted, I've welded all these bits in. Some nice nice welds there. So I've welded all them bits in. Got this bit in. I've welded some brackets on here. Now, I still haven't got the centers moved, so that that bloke's not back till ninth of um of November, so can't get them moved for now. But I'm gonna be I want to drive it around, so I get my license back in on the Monday. Today's the Thursday, so I get it next Monday, which is very very exciting. So all I've done is got a bit of 50 by 50, haven't got the bolts in there yet, just to lock it up and take for drive, see if it scrubs, and I'm just going to leave it like that so I can drive around. Still got to neat tidy up the wires and things like that, cable tie them up. But I got the mud guards on as well, and I went and got the tyres back, fitted back up to it. Now I thought about the other tyres, but it's just not, not how I, I liked it. I just like the fitment and stuff too much. So, that's the update on the Mazda. It actually doesn't look too bad. The tray is still a heap lower than it was. So it actually doesn't look too bad. Now I've still got this, this car here, which is a L67 ZY. Now, 
it's got a bit of a problem. I, originally it was popping out of gear, like out of, must have been second, fourth, and reverse. It was just popping out of them gears, which ended up in breaking the rubber donut on, on the front of the tail shaft and the shifter linkage rod. So I replace them. And when you, oh, it's not hooked up at the moment, but you can change into first, really easy. You can change into third, really easy. And you can go into fifth, really easy. But as soon as you try and bring it down into second, fourth, or reverse, it doesn't want to bar of it. And it's just, you can't even, like you can pull it in, but it, it's, it's not you can tell it's not in gear properly and it's just grinding and carrying on a bit so i had a look and i i think so i've actually got another gearbox here and i think that that's the shifter shifter rod uh shifter shaft i think the seal in this one in there has actually gone and it's grabbing and not letting it pop into them gears or either the fork's been inside so the gearbox, so that actually, it needs a gearbox. Before I can get rid of it, it's unregistered too. I've got some bushes I've got to do in it and things like that. It's just turned into a nightmare and taken up a lot of space. So I need to get into it and get that done. Now an update on the ute. I've taken my thinner pieces, template pieces to work and I've today I started grinding Grind it back some um, thicker pieces so I could use them to weld in there. And my infill panel arrived. So that, that panel there is going to make it identical to that side. Obviously, it needs a little bit of a trim up to fit in there. But you get the idea. It's going to look, that side's going to look like that side with a bit of welding, bog, and time. So, so yeah, things are starting to start to move forward a little bit. Should start once I um, get that cut to size and get these other bits in welded in. That's pretty much a lot of the welding, and then I can get into it, making it look a bit pretty. So I've got the engine block out of the ute at work, and I was actually doing a little bit more do um, grinding and polishing and stuff to get it. Nelly, oh well, I've been trying to hint at my dad to um, get onto the bloke up in um, Sydney, West End Performance, Sam at West End Performance. The reason I'm getting my dad to talk because he knows more about it, I don't, I don't know, I'm just going to be here to learn to put it together. But, yeah, so I've been hinting at him to get onto him, get onto Sam from West End, so we can start moving forward with the engine. So send the block up there, get all the machine work done and send all the parts back down and start assembling it. So things are moving ahead slowly but surely. So Also, I'm probably going to, I'm just going to straighten this dent out before some of that. So I'm not going to get another guard and get it painted before then. Too much time and shit going on. I've got a lot of stuff going on, so... Stressful, but worth it in the end. Very well worth it. And the old wagon, she's um going strong. Changed the oil a couple of weeks ago in it. Um, getting it ready for when I get my license back in four days. This will be the one I'll be driving around majority of the time. It's comfy, auto, aircon. Um, Need to put the mat back down in there. I actually moved, done a some furniture moving the other day for my girlfriend. We had this packed. We done three, four loads. Had it packed full of like TV cabinets, shit like that. And I'm surprised the amount of stuff we could fit in there, which was really, really cool. But there's a there's a slight. It doesn't well. It doesn't really affect it from being used and stuff like that but ever since I put well ever since I got the car it had a, this slight miss in it and 
I blew the other motor up, put a new motor in it, and the mist stayed with it, stayed with the car. So I'm not really sure on what that is. I've tried coil packs, spark plugs, things like that, and it's nothing obvious. So, and for it to change when I change the engine, it's really, really odd. But it's the update on the wagon. Bentley walking around in the background. Come here, Bentley. Say hi. Say hi. I've been driving the Mazda and the wagon around. I just want to show you a little bit I've done. I've knocked up some wheel tubs for it. They're, they're metal's too thin, but, and it's real rough. Um, it was really hard to weld the thin metal, but I've just knocked them up and I'm gonna use them as a template. I know they work. Um, and I can actually drive around because the wheel's covered, but that's where these are at. So I'm gonna do a little bit of a draw up and just measure the height there and then the length. And I'm probably gonna um, get a shop to to fab up some um, tubs for me or fab them up myself and then just weld them in. And obviously still haven't got the, the decking yet. Uh, just looking at some samples and stuff on what, what stuff I want. Also, this VY, it was having trouble getting in and out of gear. And I found why this selector shaft is actually bent. Not sure how that actually has happened. So I've got another gearbox here. And I was putting it in. Like, put... It's all ready, ready to go in. And I was trying to put it in. And then just wouldn't, wouldn't go in, in any far further so I've um, pulled it back out and had another look and the spigot bush actually was very loose in there and it has been turning for quite some time so I tried giving a bit of a tap see if I could put some burrs in it so it would fit in there a bit more snug and I've actually cracked it which is not bad it needs a new one anyway so now I just gotta hope that it was this worn and not the crankshaft, so. So yeah, that's the news with this thing. I've now also finished making the metal for inside for the chassis rails there. It's the right thickness now. It's nice and strong, um, should do a good job. So I've just sat that one in there. Not sure which one's left or right, but I'm just going to try them. Um. That one's actually a bit long. That might be the left one. Anyway, you get the idea. So now they're knocked up, ready to, pretty much ready to go. That'll be getting cut to size soon, probably in maybe a next video, and maybe in next two videos or something like that. Start welding them in and trying to finish off this engine bay. It actually looks really good now, now that everything's mocked into place basically. So a bit of stitch welding along here and then a lot of bog. Anyway, I'm gonna leave the video there. So, obviously from the start of the video, we're off to summer nats, so which will be really fun. And just a bit of an update on what's going, going on around, around here. So if you liked what you see, or if you've got any questions about any of, the, any of my cars, any of the builds, comment down below. I answer most of the comments, so. So like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.